everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this, um, I'm calling it my toothpaste tube gift box. I probably won't put all that in the title, but that is what it reminds me of, is the end of the toothpaste when you're kind of rolling the toothpaste tube down, um, and this would be the end here. So um, it's got a circular bottom on it, because I know a lot of this kind of style um, have the square base, and it's just, um, you know, made and closes like a the bottom of a square box but this one's a bit different so very very big it's um it measures in width you're looking the bottom the smallest width of it is four inches ish and then obviously it gets taller towards the top but it also gets narrower um this just comes off here and then you just unroll you don't have to roll it over like i have and then just open it up and it is literally just like a tube and then inside is a big circular area so you can get loads in this um, it's really really fun and it just folds over again and then I've just got my little kind of sign there hanging over the top so really easy and relatively quick to make so you're going to need now I'm aware you know I've got obviously I'm from the UK and I've got lots of UK followers um, this one here is by Craftsmith which is only available um, to buy current stock from Michaels in the US um, so I will find as many links as I can for you to be able to maybe get this one um, this was also backdated so this is from 2016 um, but it's still being sold um, and I purchased this from an online retailer here in China so it's huge Craftsmith if you can ever get hold of it if you are in the UK it's amazing card it just is lovely um, they're huge paper packs. This is 48 and they're all different. I mean, a lot of, you know, some of them are for like scrapbooking as well, but um, there's just beautiful. This one's all themed around mermaids and stuff like that, but bits and pieces I've used here. Um, you probably recognize that from the um, pillar box gift boxes I made at Christmas. Um, there's just all sorts here so yeah it's it's lovely and I plan to try and get hold of some more of the craftsmith stuff if I can but again I think they, they do do six by six and I believe eight by eight packs as well this is the 12 by 12 huge okay so that is the paper pack and then today's one that I'm using is this lovely seashell um, one here and then um, I've got a treasure from the sea um, little tag that I've just cut out from one of the the um, scrapbooking pages and inside this I plan on putting um, a one of those nice um, oh, what are they called the bath salts so that's uh, the gift idea that I've got for this so you just need a um, little bulldog clip here I've got these gold ones and then you need two discs here I'll give you the measurements in a second but you've got your 12 by 12 piece of cardstock um, actually now I'll give you those now this is three and a half diameter sorry not just yeah I said just under four so three and a half so whatever um, circle dies you've got that are near to three and a half you don't want any bigger because this literally just sits around the bottom but you can go maybe a little bit smaller but not too much okay so you need two of them one for the inside and one for the outside so with your 12 inch piece of cardstock here what you want to do is obviously I want it so that this is all facing up so this is going to be the base so what I'm doing now is your bottom of your cardstock so you want to make sure that the bottom of your cardstock is here on the left hand side okay whatever you've got that's got a print that needs to be the right way up so you just want to do one score line at what one and a half inches okay and then with that bring it along to the top here and then you just want to score along just down to that score line you've done but you want to score it every half inch so half inch one inch one and a half two two and a half three and so on all the way along every half inch until you get to the end so your last one will be eleven and a half inches okay that's all the scoring you need to do on this one so I'm just going to get rid of my scoreboard now what you want to do is uh, burnish this main score line here and use my, let's put my bone tool, there we go so just get a nice crease there on that one okay and then what you want to do again so basically you want to now curl, curl the card just like you would with your scissors and the kind of plastic string at Christmas time um, you just want to do the same thing there you just want to underneath it just try and just so it's kind of naturally arching it's just going to help when we come to put it all together okay so you can see now it's kind of lifted up a bit I can see now that when I go to curl it round it's going to sit nicely 
So now what we need to do is just cut up every one of these score lines just to that line. Don't go over the line, literally just right up to it. If you go over, you will risk seeing it on the other side. And just go along and just do that on every one of those score lines. Okay, so now I've got all these like tassely bits hanging. And again, just make sure, or even use your finger and your thumb. You just want to make sure that you just want to roll wherever it joins here. Just make sure you're kind of rolling it a bit, like so. Okay, now what you want to do is run some tape. Now, depending on, you don't want to go any bigger than um, this width of tape. Otherwise your disc here, it will all make sense when it comes together. But this is kind of the standard width, which is half an inch. So you don't want your tape to be any bigger than half an inch. Um, I'm actually using, this is slightly smaller. This is just over a quarter of an inch, so this will be okay as well. And I'm just going to run this down this side here. Start it from the top of that score line and hug right up to the edge until you get to the top of your paper. And just cut that off. Like so, just make sure that that's nicely secure there to the paper. Okay, and then take that off, turn it over, and then you want to start from the top and just sit it so it covers the tape. So I'm just going to just kind of lightly tack it along and make sure it all lines up. Once you're happy with the top there, then you can kind of work your way down until you get to the very bottom here. Again, make sure that's all lined up perfectly with that, fast, um, with that sticky tape. Put your hand in the middle there and just kind of run it through so it's all stuck down. Okay, so now you've got your tube. And then what you want to do is just push all of this in, like so. Okay, and then what we're going to be doing is sticking one of those on the bottom there, like so. Okay, so I'm going to grab my wet glue and turn it over. Just put a splodge of glue all on this. Okay, and then just kind of do like so. Don't worry too much at this point, just get it on the bottom and then, I can't really get this in screen so I need to put my hand over it, but I'm putting my hand down in the middle of the tube now, making sure, so I'm just, you can just see my arms in the tube and I'm just going around oops, to make sure it all sticks down perfectly. And you don't want the disc showing over the edges and then you'll know that you've got a perfect circle. Okay, once you've got it in place there, okay, all I'm using now is my ruler, and I'm just pushing it down all the way around there, just to make sure. You don't need to worry that some of these bits on top here haven't even, you know, stuck to the bottom, because you're gonna put that other piece on the top, so it doesn't matter. I'm just literally going around there. I'm just gonna come out of the camera, just so I can get in there. Okay, and then just check on the bottom. You just wanna make sure you can see there that the disc hasn't gone off and come in on focus there. Okay, so it's all in the middle. And then grab your other one. Again, a load of glue around this. Make sure you get right up to the edge. And then just lie this down and just kind of hold it in until you get right in there and then you can kind of drop it down inside. Like so. Okay, and then again, get your ruler and just go around. Make sure that's all stuck. And as I always say, this um, the glue I'm using here, the Alina's Tacky Glue, this dries really hard, so it's perfect um, for these kind of projects. And also it means that you can put quite heavy stuff in them. Okay, so there we go. So there's the bottom of my tube. And then all you want to do is, where you've got your seam here at the back, make sure that's in the middle, and just pinch down the top here. And then just kind of squeeze like so. And then I'm going to fold this over twice. So what you can do is grab your ruler, kind of line it up so you get a nice straight line. And you can either bend it towards you or away from you. So actually I want to bend this away from me, so I'm going to flip it over. 
put my ruler down like so and then just lift it all up push it against that and then that just starts me off now and I know I've got a nice straight line so again just burnish this all nicely so if you just want to fold it over the once then you can I am going to do this twice like so okay and then you can grab your bulldog clip and pop it on top. Now you've got a nice blank canvas to decorate. So this is going to stick right up near the top here, like so. So I'm going to use some, I'm going to use some foam tape, I think, actually, for this one. So I've just got a roll of it here. And I'm just going to put a strip through the middle. I'm not going to put loads on this one. Just along the middle there. Make sure that's not hanging out there. Okay, and then I'm just going to hold it up so I can get it nice and even. That's about right. And there we go. A really nice, rather large um, gift bag there. Gift box, even. Gift tube. There we go. Gift tooth toothpaste tube. Um, and there you have it. So two really nice uh, gift tubes. I um, hope you like this one from me today. Please hit the like button if you did. And remember to subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.